Hi guys, my name is Mia James Girl and welcome to the new live event in Sims Freeplay. This is Wedding Bells and it was released with the wedding update on the 18th of July 2017. When you update your game, you will get this pop-up that says you have 12 days to complete this event. The big day has finally arrived. Collect craft items to create your best trends wedding. Is that supposed to say friends? I'm not sure. Well, let's click on start collecting. So this looks like it's going to be the same as we have had quite a lot recently with the candles and the, oh, ignore that, send five sims to work, with the collecting the candles and things. So make some arts and crafts items. Now that you have a crafting station, your sim can make arts and crafts items to unlock prizes in the Wedding Bells live event. Have a sim make some candles from the candle station. So yeah, it's going to be the same type of thing with the candles and the jewellery and whatever else it is. I can't quite remember at the moment. I need to find my candle stations. I have no clue where they are. The little tip that if you have got your candle stations or your other crafting stations out in your town already and you can't remember where you've put them, come out onto your town map. And then if you just have a search around your houses, it will show you, ah look here, this one, it'll flash with a little icon that says that you have some of the stations there. So just as a little boost to start off with, if you put all four candle stations down, and you want to do this option, make 50 candles for 23 seconds with all of them. Just gives you a little few extra candles to start off with. It's quite nice because this option goes away once you complete it. When they've collected the candles, they'll get a little icon above their head. Just go ahead and click on that. You should know kind of how this works by now. And here is our progress bar. So as you can see, these are all the prizes that we can win. If you haven't completed one of these events before, you just need to collect candles, pottery, jewellery and glassware and also constructor coins and then you purchase different items. So we can win flower power, traditional bride and groom hair, colourful bride and groom hair, seating arrangements, wedding cakes, men's short hair, men's long hair, Supporting cast collection one, so that's cool, so bridesmaids and groomsmen attire. And then collection two, at reception decor, lights and music. Bride's hair up, there's a lot of stuff. Bride's hair down, these are some beautiful hairstyles. And then the, oh no, I was gonna say the grand prize, but no, not yet. Uh, bride and groom collection one, bride and groom collection two, and then the grand prize by collecting by unlocking all of the previous prizes, you get the wedding ceremony and reception, so which is a home lot with ceremony and reception areas, as well as a limo to provide the ultimate wedding experience. Wow, look at that limo. That is amazing. You just have to keep on collecting and your progress bar will move along when they are unlocked for you. The different stations are also unlocked as you collect more things at the moment. We can only collect candles, but you see that the pottery station becomes unlocked and then the jewellery station and the glassware station. As you progress, you can see your progress, the yellow. You can see your progress along the bottom there. Then we also have daily goals that we need to complete, which really helps out with, especially the constructor coins, because constructor coins, for me anyway, always seem to be a thing that I struggle with with these events. I never seem to have quite enough constructor coins to kind of finish it all off. I always end up having to spend LP or SP or whatever on them. So this is like the little tutorial and it will guide you through if you haven't done one before. So it's kind of fairly simple and it will help you out. The next thing is to restock a crafting station. So the same again is you want to restock all of them. So restock for two uses is 10 seconds. So restock all of them. That option will go once you've completed the task and you will have to restock for nine uses, I think, for like two and a half hours. Now we need to buy the flower power pack. So that was in the top left, as you can see here, there's the top left little wedding cake. That's where all the event information is, the progress. So flower power is there. That's the first prize that costs 50 candles. So we can buy that now. Let's purchase that. And there we go, congratulations. You've unlocked the flower power pack. That's our first lot of prizes. And then you get a little exclamation mark if there's something that you can collect on the daily goal. So unlock or buy a prize, we can collect that for five constructor coins. Task complete, buy the flower power pack. Use a coin flower patch. The coin flower patch is where we get uh, constructor coins from. So if you go into 
the events tab in your home store you have a coin flower patch you go ahead and place that down and then you can spin it here so we get a free one to start off with let's spin our free one first of all I never have any luck with these let's see if I have any luck with this Ooh, ooh, ooh. oh not bad eight constructor coins it's not the best but it's also not the worst we've got eight constructor coins there so as you can see it normally costs 450 candles to spin it or you can do a mega spin plant for 25 sp i have done a couple of mega spin plants in the past and i found that they're never really worth it i mean if you've got loads of sp spare by all means go ahead and do it but as you can see i've only got 28 sp so it's definitely not worth it for me I just have to work really hard at getting a ton of candles so that I can spin the plant again. Now check the daily goals. So as you can see, this tutorial is just walking us through everything. Check the daily goals there. We get a constructor coin for using the spin plant. That will be task complete on the tutorial. Collect the bonuses. So we haven't actually started them doing anything again. So if you click on the candle station, there are four different options. This is the same with all of the different crafting stations. There's always four different options. Now obviously choose whichever one is best for you. If you're like going to sleep or if you can't get onto your game, you're gonna choose the eight hour 31, which makes 510 candles. I would suggest that the best way is always the shortest one, I think personally. To make two hours to make 250 candles on the two hours and 30 minutes and yeah you just need to check in with the game as often as possible with these events because because the sims get bonuses so you can collect a lot of bonus items if you collect if you come into the game regularly there'll be a little icon above their head it'll pop up in a minute and they are bonus candles or pottery or whatever it is as well as the 250 that they're making they will also make uh, yeah, so there's 100 bonus. You just want to collect, obviously, as many as possible to make it more doable for you. We have got 12 days, but in the past, I've always found that these events are kind of pushed to the wire, that you, it does take the whole amount of days to do these events. So we'll just wait until some bonus items pop up. It shouldn't take too long. That took maybe like a minute or so. You can see that there are candles flashing above their head. These are the bonus candles. I think the maximum that they hold at any one time is 10 candles. That's why you want to come in and collect as often as possible. So just click on them to collect the bonuses and that is task complete as we're walking through the tutorial. Continue collecting items. Well done. Collect arts and crafts items to unlock and buy more prizes. Have Sims make items on crafting stations to get all the prizes. This event ends in 11 days and 23 hours. So now all you need to do is just, like I said, continue collecting. As soon as the pottery becomes available, you want to get your sims on the pottery. Always have as many sims as you can working on this because, yeah, you just need to to be able to complete it in time. As you've seen, you can always check your progress by clicking on the wedding little icon in the corner. The main tips for this are make sure you're getting your daily goals. Make sure you are checking in as often as possible to collect the bonus items. Otherwise, it's just like a hard slog to complete these, to be honest. You have to check in with the game quite often. And to be honest, I don't know how many most people do them. Like, I am able to check in with the game, but if I was in school or work or something, I'm not sure how these people do it. But let me know what you think of this event. Honestly, I'm kind of maybe getting a bit bored of this kind of style of event with the collecting the items. Hopefully, maybe they'll introduce something different pretty soon. Like, I'm fed up with collecting candles and I'm fed up with collecting pottery and I'd like something a bit new, to be honest. But yeah, we'll wait and see what they do. I am definitely looking forward to all of the prizes. So I will see you probably in like 12 days with with a video checking out all of the prizes that we win in this event but thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon bye